Hi everyone and welcome back. So in today's video, I will be reviewing MAC. I will be doing a full face of makeup using only MAC Cosmetics. Now MAC is a very popular makeup brand. It was my dream to have and use MAC products when I started this channel. Even my first high-end foundation was from MAC. MAC is a high-end brand and in today's video, I will let you know which products are worth the money and which are not. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with skin prep and for this, I have got some skincare and primers from MAC. So let's just start with skincare. I have a couple of products from the MAC Hyper Real Skincare range. Now this launched a few months ago and I am going to use this serumizer. The MAC Hyper Real Serumizer is a skin balancing hydration serum and the Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm is a moisturizing cream. Now this I feel is too heavy for my combination skin. It kind of starts melting my makeup from the inside so this is good for dry skin I think but for oily or combination skin I will recommend the serumizer. This is very lightweight and very moisturizing. So you can directly pump the product on your skin so I'm going to start with the outer perimeter of my face because that gets more dry than the t-zone I'm going to focus all the product over there this gives a beautiful glow to your skin. It's very lightweight. And this is just the perfect serum to wear under makeup. So for my skincare under makeup, I want that hydration, but I don't want a slippery or a greasy feel. When I layer the skin canvas balm on top of this, it gives me that slippery or greasy feel that I don't want. So you can use either one of these products to prep your skin. You don't have to have both. Next, I'm going to move to primers. I have a couple of primers from MAC. Number one is the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. And number two is the MAC Studio Radiance Moisturizing plus Illuminating Silky Primer. I use the Studio Radiance Silky Primer when I have to do a more natural, more dewy, a no makeup makeup look because this has got a very dewy finish. On the other hand, the Strobe Cream has a very glowy finish. I also feel that the Strobe Cream is more lightweight than this primer. So for today's video, I think I am going to use, let's just use the Strobe Cream on one side and the silky primer on the other side now i am going to show you the texture of both of these products the swatch of both of these products so you can see the difference in finish so you can see this has got a very thick formula if i compare it to the strobe cream the max strobe cream I actually love this one for winters. The strobe cream in pink light has a very light pink tint very light you can't see it from far you can see this has more of a glowy finish and this has more of a natural dewy finish. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of strobe cream on this side to balance out my face. And after application of all of these products, make sure that you give your skin at least 3-5 to five minutes before going in with the foundation. Until then, I want to talk about the MAC Fix Plus. This is the MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix Plus. This is available in 3-4 to four different variants, I think. I have the original one. Now this is an awesome hydrating mist if you don't want to use any primer. Sometimes what I like doing is I spray it all over my face and then just go in with the foundation. And that is when I have to use a very light layer of foundation. I don't have a lot of texture on my skin, but if you have a lot of prominent pores or if you have a very oily skin, make sure that you use a pore minimizing primer or an oil controlling primer. This is not going to fix that. The MAC Fix Plus is also available in a mini size now and I really like this one because I feel that the spray or the mist from this product is more fine than the mist from the full size. I also use this as a setting spray after applying my makeup but you can see the mist is not you know very fine. On the other hand, the mist from this is super smooth. Let's move on to foundation. For foundation, I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. My shade in this foundation is NC40. And I have to say that this is definitely one of my favorite foundations. This has medium to full coverage. It has got a soft matte finish on my skin. I feel that it's very lightweight. And this is a foundation that looks amazing on camera and in photos. Whenever I have to get ready for any special occasion, I just use this foundation. I grab it blindly. I just love this foundation for soft 
glam and full glam looks. It's also available in a lot of different shades so you will definitely find a shade for yourself. Since this is a costly foundation I will recommend that you go to a store to get your perfect shade. Also this doesn't come with a pump. I did buy the pump because without the pump this was a very messy packaging. The pump has literally made my life so easy. So first of all I'm just going to take one pump of this foundation and I'm going to apply the foundation on half of my face and show you the difference like the coverage it gives in one layer. It blends so easily and can you see that finish and that shade match? It's just spot on. I don't like wearing super matte foundations even during summers. I like something that looks close to my natural skin. So I used almost half of the product, not even half, and this is the finish. This foundation is also very, very long lasting. Whenever I have to do a lot of different swatches like lip swatches or swatches for eye products, I just use this as a base because I know that it can survive putting and removing all the lip makeup or the eye makeup. So it takes almost one and a half pumps to cover my entire face and neck. I mean you will get more coverage if you blend it in with a brush but I like using a sponge for the natural finish. Let me know if you have any questions related to the foundation because I have been using it for a very very long time so I do know a lot of things about this foundation so let me know if you have any questions. Next I am going to try out a new MAC product. This is the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. First of all I really like the packaging of this product, it's very hygienic. I have got it in the shade NW45 and this is my contouring shade. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this product this is enough it's more than enough for contouring i am going to spread it on the back of my hand and then i'm going to grab my pack 234 brush just going to pick a little bit of the product It's very blendable, can totally be used for contouring. Also, I am using as little product as possible because this is very pigmented. So this is a really good contouring shade for me. It gave my face a lot of dimension. And now I'm going to use a smaller brush to contour my nose. This is from Cuffs and Lashes. It's the E009 brush. I'm going to apply some product over here. You need the tiniest drop of this product, most of the product is still on the back of my hand. After this I have a putty blush from MAC. This is the MAC Glow Play blush in the shade Groovy. Now this shade is a very bright coral kind of shade and I really like it. It looks very bright on my skin tone but somehow it's still in sync with my skin tone like it doesn't wash me out. Also this has got a really nice texture. You can actually play with this blush. It has got a very clay kind of texture, it's a putty blush and this is a product that you can use for a very natural makeup look you know because this has got sheer pigmentation, it's not very pigmented. So right now I am going to apply it with a brush, this one is from Ruby's Organics and I'm going to pick up the product with the brush, you can see this is the color. And you really have to dig into it to get the product on your brush. You know, this is one of those natural finished products, but still it looks so good. The color looks so good on my skin tone. So this blush is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Next I am going to use the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I have got a couple of shades for their concealer, NC40 and NC42. I think both of these shades are very very similar. I am going to throw a swatch on the screen and you can see NC42 is just a little bit dark. I'm not even sure if it's visible on the camera but it's just a little bit deeper than NC40. So when I want a highlighted look I use NC40 but when I want a less highlighted look this is obviously not my actual concealer shade for covering you know hyperpigmentation or I can't apply it on bare face so this is also a highlighting shade for me NC42 is also a highlighting shade for me but I use this when I want less of a highlight by the way this is a very pigmented concealer and it's very blendable the finish is soft matte I really like the finish 
and then a little bit outside also want to apply some on my forehead chin that's enough you don't have to apply a lot this has got medium to full buildable coverage and for blending you can either use a brush or a makeup sponge i really like this concealer because it doesn't crease easily can you see how natural that looks now this i'm gonna blend with a brush because I don't want it to look patchy. I have pigmentation over there. Okay, so now let's set the face. And for that, I have got a powder foundation. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And this one is in the shade NC41. Now, I don't actually like using this as a powder foundation all over my face. I don't like using any powder foundation as a powder foundation all over my face. And that's because... You need a lot of setting spray and a lot of prepping for that and the whole hard work is just not worth it. So I use this to just set my face and also I don't like applying powder all over my face. It just looks very cakey. But if you want to use this all over your face, you can see this is like a little bit, just a little bit light for me. So I will go for probably NC42. So I'm just going to use my pack 245 brush to set my under eyes. Even if your dark circles are peaking a little bit through that concealer, this product is going to take care of that because this has got some coverage. So you can see I'm a little sweaty over here. So let's just first set that. And then this area... And then let's just set this area. You can see how it blurs my skin. So you can see I just apply it. I focus it mostly in my T-zone and where I have pores. I don't apply it on the outer perimeter of my face. This mattifies my skin very naturally, I'd say. It doesn't look cakey. And now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I'm using the MAC Eyebrow Styler in Spiked. Now this is another one of my favorite products from MAC. I don't know why I feel like it's so easy to fill in your eyebrows with this product. This is also a really good color for my brow hair. I'm not using the spoolie on this because it's dirty. So for the arch, I go back and forth. And for the end, I just use a few gentle strokes. I think this is a little bit too thick for hair-like strokes. So it's not as fine and as precise as the NYX brow pencil, the micro brow pencil. Or even the Nika one is more fine than this. But still, I like the finish that this gives. For the eyes, I have the MAC Connect and Color Eyeshadow Palette. I have got the variant Bronze Influence and I'm going to create this eye look with this today. I really like the packaging of this palette. As I said in the unboxing video, I'm going to start with the shade Overnight Influencer. And this is a taupe kind of shade. Looks so close to my actual skin tone. And this is going to be perfect as a transition shade. For brush, I'm using the pack 393. I'm picking a good amount of this shade and then just tapping off the excess. And then I'm going to apply it all over my eyes. This is going to be my transition. There are just a couple of matte shades on the palette, but I really like them because they blend like butter and they look so good on my skin tone. It's like this palette is just meant for my skin tone. I'm also going into that inner corner. Next, I'm using the pack 102 brush and applying the taupe shade on my lower lash line. And now with the same brush, I am going into shade Logged Out. It's a very deep, dark green. I was expecting this shade to be a little bit patchy, but this blends really well. I'm just going into that crease. Then I'm just going to bring that color in. You can see how easily that blends. And that's what I like about these matte shades. This will soften out the edge of that shade. Now I'm going to use the shade Retrospect, which is this bronze shade with a hint of olive. I'm going to apply this over here. And now I'm going to take the shade Olive Twist, which I think is just a lighter version of the shade Retrospec. I'm going to press it on the inside just to open the eye from the inside a little. 
Now I'm just going to apply the shade Logged Out on my lower lash line, very close to my lower lashes. And I am going to apply the shade Olive Twist in my inner corner, just to brighten that up a little. Also it's raining so there can be a little bit of background noise. So for the eyeshadow palette, I'll say that it's unique, but you can get a better eyeshadow palette at this price. I will say that I love the eye look and I think that this eyeshadow palette is great for beginners, like if you don't want to complicate your makeup looks. If there is like a certain kind of look that you always go for, in this case it can be cool toned olive, you know. I mean this has just six shades, the packaging is beautiful and all, but... I think you can get better palettes in the market for this price. Next I have a couple of Kohl pencils from MAC. First is the MAC Technicol Liner. This is an eyeliner kajal. And second is the MAC Extreme Black in Extreme Dimension 24 hour kajal. And I've swatched both of these. This is the pink one and then this is the Technicol kajal. You can see that the MAC Technicol does transfer a little bit and it does smudge a little bit too. But that's totally fine. Um, it's very moisturizing, it won't dry out your eyes, it doesn't settle into a super duper matte, you know, drying finish. And then this is the pink one in extreme dimension. This doesn't smudge at all and doesn't transfer at all either. So on this side, I am going to line with Technicol. I'm just going to tight line, I'm not going to use any liner today. Both of these glide really smoothly, but if you're using an extreme dimension cartel after a long time, make sure that you sharpen it to get smooth application. So now I'm going to try out the mascara from MAC. This is the MAC Stack Mascara. So let's apply mascara on this side first. I am going to take off the extra product from the wand. This is what the wand looks like. It has got a very spiky wand. Okay, so this is one layer. Can you see the difference? This is not actually the best mascara that I have tried. I mean, it does give a little bit of lift and some volume. But it's not giving me the lift that I want. It's definitely very comfortable on the lashes. It's very lightweight, doesn't clump. But then again, this doesn't lift or give a lot of volume. I think I like the Maybelline Sky High mascara more than this and even the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. Alright, so next I am going to try out the powder blush from MAC. This is the MAC Matte Powder Blush in Burnt Pepper. This is the shade, it looks so good on the pan. It's also very pigmented. I really like this color, this looks so beautiful on my skin tone. And now I'm going to set my face and for that I'm using the Mini MAC Fix Plus. My face looks okay so I'm just going to use very few sprays of this product. This binds everything together and makes all the layers look like a single layer on your skin. For highlighter I'm using the MAC Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish. The brush I'm using is the Rufa Beauty RB20. I don't have a lot to say about this highlighter. I mean, it looks very much like the Maybelline Master Chrome. And you can start with a soft glow and build it up to blinding look. So for the lip shade, I want to do something very, very nude. I have got a lot of bullet lipsticks from MAC. Actually, I want to try their glosses. So these are the shades that I thought might go well with this look. We are going to try them and see which one looks the best. MAC bullet lipsticks are classic. They are amazing. I don't have to say anything about them. I just love them. Okay, so I think first I'm going to line my lips with the lip liner in... Whirl. This is the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl. This is a very nude pink shade. First is the shade Velvet Teddy. I am going to fill in my lips with this. And on the center, I am going to apply the shade Kinda Sexy. 
So this is the completed look and that's it for the video. If you have any queries about any of the products, you can mention them in the comments. Other than that, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.